Hey, sneaking us back. Yeah. Last video of the day today. We're going to music players. Now I play a lot of music, okay? As you know. And if you've known me before, I always used to use Clementine mainly and a few others. But I changed about ooh, over a year ago. I have now gone to Strawberry. Now you can look at it, it looks a really bit basic, doesn't it? But it doesn't really matter. It does it everything I need it to do. Before I go through it with you, what I'm going to do, I'm just go to the Strawberry website. And the reason I'm doing it, it's just not for Linux, okay? It's for everything, yeah. So there's a site, so I'll put this in the description. It's strawberrymusicplayer.org. Basic website, yeah. It's a basic player. But the audio quality is a lot better than some others. Now, it is based on Clementine, okay? But it's written in C++. And uses QT. I won't go through all this with you. You can go to the website and see it yourself. But if you want to download it, here we go. You can get an app image. It's for Sousa, Fedora, Magia, Debian, Ubuntu, <laughs> Mac, Windows 10 as well. Yeah, yeah. You can choose even which QT you want to use. If you want to go basic for Ubuntu, you can do it uh, this terminal way. It's easy for you. And there's some screenshots you can look here. But basically, it's for nearly every platform. And you you may not like the interface, but I do. I'm not looking at the music. I'm playing the music into my ears. My studio headphone ears, by the way. Yeah, thank you, Sneaky Girl. But you can go through this yourself. I'm not going to go through it because it'll take like two minutes. This is another short video. I'm only doing videos around about four to five minutes at the moment. So, yeah. So, we'll get rid of that. Okay. And I'll go to the actual player. Okay, here we are. A really, really basic interface. But that's all you need. But I've found all the lyrics come down fine. I was having trouble with that with Clementine and some other players. So if I click on music, you can open a file. It will play CDs. No problem at all. If you've got a playlist, get a file, folder or a stream. Yes, you can add a stream. So if you like streaming, you can do it this way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ask me and I will tell you, okay? Tools, you get a cover manager for all the artwork, equalizer, transcode the music, obviously update your folders, do a full rescan, that's the settings, import data from last FM. So if I go to settings, just for instance, so you can see what I'm talking about. So the system's behavior, it's all here. Collection, where my music is. So if I wanted to add a new folder, say of um, free music, there are a few, and I'm going to do that very soon in the next week or so. I'll show you how to do that. You can choose your back end. Yeah. So I can change that as well. Super. Scrobbler, covers, lyrics, transcoding, network proxy, appearance, context, notification, blah, 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 blah. And it's our streaming stuff. Now, I haven't got Tidal at the moment for the simple reason I run out of my free trial. And it's quite expensive. But if you've got a really good audio on your PC, it's super duper, okay. And it's just the basic controls, really. So we get context, yeah. That's that's the one I'm playing. Collections, a lot of my stuff. You can just add them to your playlist, no problem. You can queue stuff up if you really wanted to. Create extra playlists, smart playlists. So if you just want saying um, just really weird stuff coming from your cat your catalog, just click on newest tracks or random tracks. Here's the files, yeah, and devices, and a DVD drive here. But yeah, that's, that's how easy it is. The audio quality is fantastic. I can't, I can't fault it whatsoever, and I like it. It's very, very stable. Unfortunately, if you're a Ubuntu user, the snap is not too good. Okay, this is installed via terminal, or you can do it via Synaptic if you wanted to. Entirely up to you. Yeah, but it's a great player. And I suggest you go and give it a try, whatever platform you use. Yeah. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.